Hey, uh, Brian with a new haircut here, and this week at the movies, I went to see First Man, starring Ryan Gosling as Neil Armstrong, fairly well-known lad. He was also in La La Land, not Neil Armstrong, but Ryan Gosling. What's looking wearing a La La Land t-shirt? How appropriate. We have Claire Foy, who is Janet Armstrong in the movie, who was also a Queen Elizabeth in The Queen, a Netflix series that I've never watched, but I've heard that it's very good. We have Corey Stoll, who is the bad guy in Ant-Man. He plays Buzz Aldrin. We all know who Buzz Aldrin is. It's also directed by Damien Chazelle, who of course directed La La Land, and phew, that man can just do things with colour that I've never seen another man do. The first man tells the story of a lad called Neil Armstrong, fairly well known, floated around for a bit, went for a walk on the moon. Everyone knows the story of Neil Armstrong. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. But not everybody, including me, and I'm super intelligent, knows the story of the background, how it came to be that they ended up going on the moon, and that's what this movie is about. I did like the story, and it was fun, it was dramatic, it had all the elements that a story should have, but I just felt like it went on a bit too much, like I kind of lost interest in it as time went on. Now, I'm personally not a big fan of like slow-burning films like Dunkirk, I was not a big fan of that at all, but like Dunkirk, it is a beautiful movie, but unlike Dunkirk, I actually enjoyed it way more. It was actually a really, really good movie itself. In fairness, the acting was just phenomenal, and the cinematography was literally, literally out of this world. The film itself was just missing that one thing that would make it really epic and would stand the test of time. It's not the best movie you're gonna see, but it's not Apolloing either. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna give First Man 8. How come nobody referenced the fact that Ryan Gosling and Damien Chazelle were in a city of stars, but now they're literally the stars themselves? out of 10. Meanwhile, at the other movies, yes, that's right, we have an extra little segment at the end of At The Movies where we talk about movies that we are not reviewing in detail, but I'm giving them a rating out of 10 and whether you should go see them or not. First up, Bad Times The El Royale. I liked it, 9 out of 10, you should go see it. Second up, Rosie. Didn't really like it, 5 out of 10. You should definitely go see it though still. It's an Irish movie about homelessness. It's only Mo Dunford and Sarah Green, who are actually really good in it, but the story itself I just didn't really like. Next up, we have Venom. I liked it. It's very funny. 8 out of 10. Not as bad as people said it was, so you should go see it. And last up, we have Night School. No. 4 out of 10. Save your money. Don't go to that movie. So that's it for me. Until next week.